video to go along with my Just Talk series that I have going on on my YouTube channel. So this topic um, is going to be stop living to please other people. Um, I know what you I know you guys know what I mean when I say that. Um, this is something that I have experienced myself, and it actually took me a long time to even realize that that was what I was doing and to break that habit. So the biggest one that I feel like people experience is when they're trying to please their parents. Um, that was a big thing for me. I, um, you know, my parents wanted me to go to college and, you know, they want you to do this and they want you to do that and they want you to live your life a certain way. And it's not necessarily that they want to be in control of your life or they, you know, want you to do this instead of doing that. But I think nine times out of ten, what it is is they want the best for you, you know. They don't want you to have to struggle how they did. They don't want you to have to go through certain trials and tribulations that they went through. That they went through. So they're trying to help you avoid them. Now the thing with that is, is that I feel like people are gonna do what they're gonna do. Like regardless, people, kids, you know, young adults, we're just gonna do what we do. You know, it's our life and. Sometimes I think it's harder for them to accept that. Now, me, um, one thing that was major for me was college. You know, I was one of the first to go to college in my family. And, you know, everybody was pushing for me to succeed. And so I felt like there was pressure there. Um, I've always felt pressure. And I know they didn't necessarily do this on purpose. Of course not. But... That's just something I've always felt. I've always been that good kid or, you know, whatever. So, I felt pressure, you know, to go to college, make it big, and be a doctor, and do this and that. And I got to college. I was, I was in an organic chemistry class, honey. And that was the class that made me realize that, honey, being a doctor is not for me. Okay? I probably changed my major, like three times in college because I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do or be for myself. You know, I'm not trying to please other people, but, you know, do what God has in store for me. And that's how I got into um, social work. Now, I also feel like I wish I had, hadn't gone to college straight out of high school because you're 18 you don't know nothing about nothing and you haven't really experienced life and you're jumping into debt right at 18 because your parents want you to go to college and it's like I don't know I feel like the first three years or two and a half years of my college career was a waste because I was still trying to figure myself out so I mean it's it's a learning process. Um, so one thing for me that I had to realize was that I had to stop living um, to please other people, my parents being the biggest one. And that also goes with my master's program. Um, now granted, of course, it would help me and, you know, I would get paid more and this and that. But it's like, if you don't have it mentally in your head to do it, then you're not going to do a good job at it. And I just feel like right now isn't the right time for me to, you know, be doing that. So I had to make the decision for myself. And I had to just have a talk with my parents and let them know, like, this is what it is. This is what I'm doing. You know, sorry to tell you this or whatever, but that's just how it's going to be. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So that was something that I had to come to the realization that, I was doing a lot of stuff to please other people instead of pleasing myself. And it wasn't even necessarily just my parents. Like, it was other family members. You know, they always ask you about masters and school and da da da, da And you want to be like, yes, I'm doing da da da, da. And it's like, who cares? You know, like, who cares? It is your life and you need to do what makes you happy. So, whether in your life, if you... I don't know, whatever career you decide to take on or 
whatever state you want to live in, whoever you want to date, or you know what I mean? I would definitely listen to all different viewpoints just so that they can help you make the best decision. But at the end of the day, it is your decision. You have to stop living to please other people as you're never going to be fully happy within yourself. And that's what I had to realize as well. I had a, got a new job. We moved into a better place. You know, everything was finally coming full circle for me and I was happy. And that master's program was literally the only thing that was left that was just really like weighing on my shoulders. You know what I mean? So you have to do what makes you happy. And that's not to say that you won't eventually end up doing what they want you to do. Because I may end up down the line doing it, doing my master's program. But it'll be because I want to do it, not because somebody else wants me to do it. And I'll probably be more successful in it. And that's just, that goes with anything. When you do something that you want to do for yourself, then you're going to be successful in it. But when you're trying to do it for somebody else or to please them, then you probably going to half-ass it or just try to come up with something. You know what I'm saying? You won't enjoy it. And 2019, I'm all about enjoying life, okay, honey? I'm all about minding my own business, saving and stacking my money, and living my life to the fullest for myself. Okay, that's what I'm all about, 2019. So I just wanted to come on here and encourage you guys to let you guys know my experience and to kind of help other people to realize that whether it's your mama, your daddy, your husband, your kids, your grandparents, cousins, aunties, uncles, teachers, principals, mentors, best friends, whoever it is in your life, you don't live for them, you live for yourself okay and for God okay that's what you do okay God put us on this earth you know what I'm saying you're not here to please anybody else you're here to please him and yourself so that was something that I had to realize and I'm glad that I did at such a young age because I don't want to be 40 50 years old you know regretting my life you know what I mean so and something else that I also thought about was I would may go into like being a realtor or something like that because as y'all see in my videos i love houses if you haven't checked out those house tour videos go check those out those are great houses me and babe are looking um for a house and then also if you're interested in this hair i just did a hair video um so it'll have all that information about it as well so i don't want this video to be too long my just talk videos are just for me to get a topic from you guys and for me literally to just talk straight out the dome. No preparing, no nothing. I just get a topic and I literally just talk. So if you guys have any other topics or anything that you want me to talk about or discuss, please send them to my email listed below or you can DM me or you can comment below if you're if you feel like sharing like that. So I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next video.